Yo, what's going on, miners? Mining King here. Today, let's check out WordPress on Flux. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since the beta launch of WordPress has been on Flux. And it is amazing, guys. 60% of the world uses WordPress. That is a huge number. And if Flux can even get a small percentage of that to come onto the network, it would be amazing, right? Big steps for Flux, man. Uh, congratulations to the Flux team and all their success. I mean, I didn't think a year ago that I would be having a website myself on the Flux network, right? So really, really cool. It's, it's amazing. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can make your own WordPress site and that it's very, very simple, right? So let's go over to the, to the screen here. Okay, so we're over here at Flux Cloud which is cloud.runonflux.io, right? And it's really, really simple, man. It's super easy to use. You're going to need Zellcore. You're going to need Flux, all right? If you haven't made a Zellcore, I have had... I have had... <laughs> if I could talk right today, guys, I have made a video when I made how to mine Flux. It also shows you how to make a Zellcore. Really easy wallet to work with. But if you guys need that, go check out that video. But we're going to get into WordPress. So we're going to click WordPress. It's then going to drive us over here to the, flac the, the Flux Cloud beta for WordPress. And this is the registration form that you need to fill out in order to start your WordPress site. Okay. Now, I do recommend before we get started that if you have a domain, that you put it, the domain information in here where it says, dom dom where it says domain name optional, right? Because if you don't put it in here, you will have to put it in manually in the local app section, you know, through the Flux OS dashboard. So it will, it's not that you can't fix it later on. It's just easier to do it right here up front, right? Because it'll just seamlessly work. You do have to add a CNAME record on your website. I mean, uh, on your DNS records. So let's go, let me show you something real quick before we get started, okay? So this is a, um, a bunch of tips and how to use everything. And this was written by Chili. Um, he is the project manager for WordPress at Flux. And he has put together some great stuff here. Lots of illustrations, instructions, and how to do things, how to get started, launching your new site straight from the beginning. Very instructional stuff. I will leave a link down below for this, um, all these tips and tricks and guides. I'll leave it link in the description for you guys, okay? But it's pretty self-explanatory, but in case you do need to set up a domain later on because you don't have one right now, and let's say you wanna get one later down the road, you can add one. There's just a few, like five or six steps you have to do to be able to add that later down the road. So now that we're back here, let's go ahead and let's call our name. Um, we're gonna call our DAP King, um, King Test. Okay, we'll call that our DAP. And I'm gonna use um, contact, use the contact at themoneyking.com. Now I'm not gonna point my domain at it, right? Now you can change the payment length. You can go one month, three months, six months, and 12 months. I'm just obviously gonna do one month because this is just a test, right? You can whitelist um, IP addresses. So if like you, or maybe you work with a group of people, you can whitelist your IP addresses, right? So that's just another feature. Now, as far as configurations go, right now they have just one because once again, this is a beta, it's not a finished product. So kind of keep that in mind is, looks like they have um, basic, which is coming soon. Um, standard, which is what we get right now is one gig of RAM, one CPU, 20 gigs of SSD storage. Looks like they will eventually have a pro and enterprise level. But for right now, all they have is just the standard. The next thing you need to do is obviously select your geolocation. Obviously I'm in North America. Now this is just to keep it the latency down. So once you've picked your continent or your, you know, your region, then you're gonna to wanna to come over here and click sign terms. It's gonna make you read through all this mumbo jumbo. So I'm not going to read through it with you guys. You guys can read on your own and just click I agree. And then 
you'll want to say click verify login now it's going to ask you for your zell core so once once you once it asks you once you put in your password for your zell core and obviously i'm not showing you guys my password stuff then you want to sign and send the message you'll click sign and send and then you'll get a message you'll get a little green thing here at the top saying it was sent we'll we'll uh, minimize this for a minute now my Zelle ID has been authenticated. Now let's validate and get the cost. So we'll give it a second here. It's validated, it's, got, it's gotten the cost. Now we need to go down here to the Zellcore signature. So accept cost and sign. Once again, it'll bring up your Zellcore and you'll click sign and send. You'll come back over here. And then you'll need to do DAP registration. We will click registering the DAP. Right now it's it's registering, so just give it a moment. Now you're on the pending payment part. So now you're gonna it's gonna click open Zellcore again. It's gonna say, hey, do you want to pay this much flux to this address? And we're gonna proceed with the payment, and then you're gonna click proceed and pay, and then it'll give you all your options to pay. You will click uh you know, we'll click fast, you know. Then we're gonna click send. It's gonna say there is a trans you know, show you the block explorer that your transaction's been valid. And then you'll be greeted with this page. And then you need to wait a few moments, maybe minutes, depending upon, you know, block times and things like that. It may be five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You'll have to wait um, a little bit of time uh, before it actually gets picked up. So bear with me. And then I'll, we'll be back in a few moments and I'll show you the next screen you need to do in order to deploy your WordPress site. So, once it's actually been confirmed on the blockchain and payments been confirmed, you'll be greeted with this. Click let's go. Then it's going to take you to your DAP page. And here we are. It is now propagating your nodes for your WordPress site. So it could take up to two hours. Usually maybe like 20, 30 minutes it could take that long. It depends on the network, obviously, and everything like that. But instead of propagating, it'll have a green check mark, which means that we're all good to go. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. So we now have the green check mark right here. And now you can click your WordPress site and it will go through all the instructions of how to actually set up your WordPress after you go through and I'm not I'm not going through like every step of creating the WordPress thing because it's just like anything else there's a password and all this you know your personal information your email and your your username those are all typical things you will see that before this page right it'll ask you to do those things when you click on the link to it'll ask what language you want and then it'll ask you for username email, password, those kinds of things. I'm not gonna fill all that out in front of you guys. You guys should be able to figure that out. Okay, so after you click on that link and you fill out the information, then you'll be greeted with this. It is magnificent. We have a WordPress site right now running on Flux, right? This is amazing. So it is extremely, there's like nothing here. It's just the basic thing that it came with, right? But you can see that it's, it loaded very quickly. No latency whatsoever. So it's it's pretty snappy. Really like it. So I think it's amazing. So this is like a little short tutorial on how to like start your WordPress site. Okay. And I I didn't go over the, the final detail of like setting up your passwords and things like that, because I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you set up like any kind of Thing like this whether it be like a facebook account or an email or anything like that you have to enter enter in your own personal information i think that's self-explanatory there is no secret things that you have to enter in between here and clicking the button it's just entering in basic information right you guys should be able to handle that so what i'm going to do is is actually i'm going to run my own giveaway and I want to do a stream at the end of this month, right? Um, for the release of the WordPress on Flux, I'm going to give away a, a hundred Flux myself to one winner. 
that creates the best WordPress site. Um, and I'm going to host a live stream and we'll all vote. We'll, we'll all look at them and we'll, we'll, we'll have a vote system and see how many votes we do. And whoever wins, whoever becomes the best website, I will, uh, I will give away a hundred flux to that winner. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. I think it's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys like building websites. So, and that will go from March 1st to the end of March. I'll be hosting and announcing, and we'll be doing the giveaway, like stream, you know, vote system, you know, what have you. Saturday, April 1st is what we're going to be doing. So April 1st on Saturday, noon Pacific time. We're going to be getting together for a live stream. We'll be voting to see who made the best WordPress site. And whoever the winner is will get a hundred flux. All right, guys, this is Monikin giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.